Iowa State is still looking for that go-to guy through the air when they need that big pickup. That used to be Hakeem Butler, and even before that, Alan Lazard. But you're not seeing six foot five or six foot six starters on the Cyclones wide receiver depth chart right now. And Saturday didn't point to anyone in particular filling that void yet. Deshante Jones went off for 14 catches, 126 yards, but the handful of shots downfield that Brock Purdy left for his wide receivers to go make a play on did not come down in Cyclone gloves. That being said, a guy who could be working toward being the go-to big play is LaMichael Petway, the grad transfer out of Arkansas. He had three catches, but was efficient with them, finding the end zone twice. Matt Campbell says pump the brakes on Petway being the big play guy for now, but he is encouraged by what he saw Saturday. It was a sign of the chemistry the transfers built with Brock Purdy in his short time on campus. It shows like how much we've been working and how much that connection has been and like how important that's been uh, between me and him. Like I said, the day that I got here, man, it's, it's been, hey, Brock, what are you doing? Hey, you want to go to the facility? Da, da, da. So um, that just goes to show the work that we've been putting in together. So I'm, I'm proud of that. I thought he did a great job of making the plays he needed to make and controlling what he needed to. You know, Pet's a, a big physical player. He would tell you, I think he was a little bit raw coming into fall camp. Um, you know, he didn't get spring practice. I think that's always really hard. And I think the great thing about him is, again, this is the credit of the leadership of a guy like Brock, is you just saw him keep kind of guiding him and growing him. And you saw Deshante, and you saw some of those guys see in Pet what he had the ability to do. He was my roommate during camp, and he was my roommate, you know, during traveling games and stuff. And, you know, we just talked a lot about things we did in the past and previous things, and, and he kind of took the grasp of it and, and you know, kind of rolled with it. He, he knows the program now. He knows what we're capable of. He knows what the standard is, and he's just invited into this, this, this uh, culture that we got. Petway and the offense will continue to fine-tune here in the bye week ahead of September 14th, Cyhawk game.